Okay folks, this is Dan, Hardwood Hall of Bushcraft and Tactical, just coming at you with a really quick video. Uh, I found this uh, out in my woods the other day. It appears to be uh, paper similar to uh, birch bark, but this came off a poplar tree. You can see it right down there. Um, I've taken a bundle of it and processed it here. So let's go ahead and uh, get down on this and see if I can't get it to take a spark. I don't know how it's going to do. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, um, this would be the uh, Bear Grills uh, fire starter. So uh, let's give it a shot and see if we can't get. Uh, this poplar paper to take a spark. Well, it took, but it went out before it could even blow on it. Yeah. It might be a little bit damp still. There we go. So there you go. Poplar. Tinder. Almost identical to uh, birch bark. You take the outer bark off of the uh, um, of the poplar log. This log has been on the ground for a year and uh, this paper peels off the inside. It's very, very fine. It peels into multiple, um, it's multiple layers. Take that little piece right there, and that little piece is probably one, two, three, that's probably four layers right there because I can continue to peel it. So it's it uh, processes pretty good. Uh, it takes I, I think it's going to take a little while to dry, but once it is dry, some of this was actually wet just a couple of days ago. And it's been sitting in my basement. My basement is not completely dry. But get that stuff opened up and processed a little bit. We'll try a second piece here and see if we can't get that little bundle to take spark too. That's not processed quite as well as the other one was. Yeah, this might have a little bit of moisture left in it. I'm getting the sparks in it good, and it'll take a little bit. But it's not staying lit. Like the other one was, so this little bundle's probably still got too much moisture in it. Try to process down just a little bit more.
Yeah, I think this is just too damp. Oh, well, we still got a little spark in there. Yep, it just went out. So, all right, well, there you have it. When it's dry enough, and uh, if you did get a fire started, this would be real easy to set by the fire uh, far enough off, obviously, that it doesn't catch fire. But uh, put it near your started fire and dry it up good, and then you'll have some for your, uh, for your next fire. And uh, we also saw the Bear Grylls fire starter here, which uh, threw some pretty good sparks. Um, I'm not entirely sold on the uh, striker. I think I'm going to try and square that up on the belt sander a little bit to maybe give it a little squarer edge, um, which might throw some better sparks. Uh, we'll see. But uh, there you go. And this Bear Grylls does come with a small compartment on this end that uh, includes a little bit of cotton. It's not a very big compartment. And I've noticed that the, the rod probably goes all the way up to here inside, but it's glued in there or molded in there. So that's a lot of rod you cannot use. I think it'd be helpful if that rod was removable maybe with a set screw or something so at some point you could pull it out flip it over and use the other half plus that creates a lot of wasted space in here uh, that you could store more tinder um, as well so just my two cents worth on the Bear Grylls tool and additionally the Bear Grylls tool uh, well it doesn't want to fit back together for some reason might have bent that striker. I think I did. There we go. Bent her back and she fits together. Uh, I replaced the uh, paracord, the cordage that was in it with actual 550 cord, which was not on it before. And I added an, uh, it came with uh, this uh, adjustment and a small survival whistle which is pretty loud. It actually is louder if you don't blow as hard. Uh, and it acts as a cord lock at the end. Um, it's got some uh, markings on the side for like SOS and um, that sort of thing. Uh, Alpine rescue symbol. Uh, y for help. Here's your Morse code for SOS. Here's the do not need help right there. So it's got a few little things on the outside, and it included the standardized Bear Grylls little survival booklet as well. So there you go. Dan, Hardwood Hollow Bushcraft, and uh, we will uh, catch up with you later. And uh, hope this video was helpful. Uh, always practice proper firearm safety, and remember, better to be prepared today than to wish you were prepared tomorrow. Uh, Dan, Hardwood Hollow Bushcraft. I'm out of here. Storm clouds are building above.